Hello everybody, my name is Jim Coleman. I'm the President and CEO of the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation. We're here today to speak with one of our delegates to County Executive Baker's upcoming trade mission to China. His name is Abraham Hilal, and he is the Chief Operating Officer of Great Graphics, a great rapidly growing company here in Prince George's County, and you're going to love what you're hearing. Abraham, how are you doing today? Wonderful, Jim. Well, Thank you for good. having me. Well, it's good to have you, and we're excited about you joining us on County Executive's trade mission. And I wanted to just take some time out right now to kind of learn more about your company and you can share with our viewers exactly where your company's headed, what your company is all about, and what you expect out of this upcoming trade mission. Why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about uh, Gray Graphics? Sure. Uh, Gray Graphics has been in business since 1934. Uh, my family acquired it in 1975 and incorporated it. We have been in the county, uh, I would say, well over 30 years at this point. Wow. Uh, but collectively we've been in operation for 40 years. Wow. Uh, we are currently the fifth um, largest print provider or communications provider to the federal government. Mm -hmm. uh, our service offerings uh, range from commercial offset printing to digital printing to records management, uh, warehousing and fulfillment, e-publishing, and now uh, 3D printing. Wow. Uh, our 3D printing department primarily services NASA where we do a lot of work in modeling and prototyping for NASA. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably one of the key areas we're looking to expand our right. presence uh, and hopefully find some partners to market to in uh, China. Well, we hope so. Who are the types of partners you would like to partner with as well as sell your services to? Well, um, I'll give you an example of who we're marketing to here domestically because I think it is uh, very uh, ten tangential to who we'd be looking to market to in China. Mm -hmm. uh, construction, engineering firms, architecture firms, uh, anyone that really has a process where they need f models of their project made and then a potential prototype pr prior to going into actual production. Right. Um, for construction firms, they may need an actual model done before each phase of each uh, project or, or step of a project. And that's something that I've been working with Clark Construction, Turner Construction, Belfort Betty on. Uh, we have some engineering firms here that have expressed interest in working with us, like uh, AECOM is another one. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, I could imagine that a lot of the Chinese firms doing international business and looking to either expand their presence in the U.S. or set up shop in Prince George's County uh, might have that sort of need. I see. So it would be a great partner in the construction industry. Oh, absolutely. Anyone that's a big developer in China that might want to expand operations here to Prince George's County or somewhere in the region, mm -hmm. they could call on you. Absolutely. And the, the benefit is, uh, although I'm sure China does have its uh, 3D print facilities, there is a lag time and you don't have that direct contact and if you're doing business here you may need to have hands-on support where you need your model or prototype done same day and you need to have direct access to actually be physically present to have input. I see. Um, a lot of these projects that we do with NASA are time sensitive. They give us the project in the morning and we have it ready for them in the afternoon. I'm sure they're pretty demanding. That's a large agency. Absolutely. So Absolutely. it says a lot about your company that you've been in business for so long and it was started by your family and uh, for any business out there today that can last five years, it says a lot. But for <laughs> any business 30 and 40 years, that's fantastic. Yeah. What thank do you, you think sets you apart from the competition? Uh, I think that we we play on a fair playing field and we you know respect uh, our customers and their needs and we are always open to act we're agile I, mm -hmm. I, I think is what I the best word mm -hmm. uh, we don't just say this is what we do and we're not willing to look at anything beyond that mm -hmm. we're always willing to look at what's next what's on the horizon what do, what does our customer base need what's mm -hmm. the future hold and how do we get there mm -hmm. um, for us one of the things that we'd like to also offer uh, the Chinese market businesses uh, is our real estate. Uh, we have prime real estate located inside the Beltway here, uh, just a quarter mile from uh, one metro station and about a mile from another metro station, right. which will be the, the downtown Prince George's County. Absolutely. Um, what station it, is that for our viewers? The quarter mile station, the station that's a quarter mile away is Garrett Morgan Boulevard, right mm -hmm. by FedEx Field. Mm -hmm. uh, it's right by the New Kingdom Square redevelopment project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's seven acres 
uh, and it houses two warehouses that total about 73,000 square feet. Those warehouses are zoned I-1, uh, so they would be prime for someone looking to do any sort of manufacturing right now, mm -hmm. but the whole lot could be redeveloped into a mega project, which I've submitted to the county and the Economic Development Corp. Uh, plans for how that could look. Right. Uh, we also have another property directly across the street, which is an acre and a quarter zoned MUI. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've submitted plans for how one vision of how that could look. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel confident that an ambitious investor would see that and know the prime location within the county. It's, it's on the major corridor slated for redevelopment to right. be a gateway into Washington, D.C., rather than a thoroughfare out of it. Absolutely. And, you know, you're right there next to the nation's capital, mm -hmm. next to Baltimore. You've got access to North Northern Virginia and all of the tech companies that the are there. Northeast. Oh, With absolutely. 495, I-95, right there, close by. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But the most exciting part is you're really centrally located in Prince George's County. Absolutely. I can't think of another part of the county that has more going on. Uh, and you're close to National Harbor and the sure. new MGM Grand Hotel. You're close to the new downtown uh, Prince George's County redevelopment with the hospital that's right. slated to be anchoring there. Right. So it's, ex it's an exciting time. Right. And I think as Chinese investors look to come do business in the county, our real estate will make sense for quite a few of them. So you are looking for an investor as well? And if so, what type of level of investment? Uh, depending on the real estate and the redevelopment, uh, you're talking about finance. You're, you're talking money right. now. <laughs> right, right. Well, that's what we're going to get. Uh, okay. County executive wants to introduce us to investors who are going to make investments through the EB-5 program as well as straight cash investments. Sure, And sure. so uh, we're putting together, uh, helping to match make each of our delegates, including yourself, with potential investors. Sure, sure. And so for this audience, what would you say that your investment, and you can go maybe on a range of level of investment that you would uh, like to discuss? Absolutely, I'd have to. Um, so let's start with the smaller project, which would be the acre and a quarter mm -hmm. at 8424 Central Avenue, that's zoned sure. MUI. Feasibly, and I'm, I'm not intimately familiar with the development mm -hmm. regulations and how mm -hmm. high you can go right. and setbacks, uh, but from what I do know, I could imagine a range of anywhere between 20 and $75 million to develop that, pro that site. Um, and it could be pretty extraordinary, make it really a walkable uh, with street level retail sure. and businesses and, and, uh, off and uh, residential sure, above. Like a mixed use project. A mixed use project, exactly. Right. Um, the best thing about that site is that it is conveniently located to the to the metro. Uh, I mean, it's and which like metro a, station is that? Garrett Morgan Boulevard. Okay. And Just saying it again for our six minute walk. Guest. Okay. Yeah. And then you have another project that you're also going to be seeking investment for. Absolutely. That's the larger project. Mm -hmm. That's the seven acres directly across the street, zoned I one with the two uh, buildings totaling seventy three thousand square feet. Um, if we were to redevelop that site, I would imagine it would be anywhere from 125 to 175, even 200 million dollars, wow. depending on the scale of redevelopment. Sure. sure. Um, so it just depends on the vision that the county has. It mm -hmm. depends on the vision that the investor has, and how that aligns with what we have submitted to the county. Right. Well, you've got a lot to ask for when we go to this. Uh this trip with County Executive Baker. Absolutely. Sounds like, so kind of wrap it up, we're looking to help you to match make with potential clients and customers who would want to use your 3D graphics printing business. Mm -hmm. That's a big area of business for you and your mm -hmm. family. Second, to be able to talk to any potential tenants that may need space on the manufacturing side for being able to store their goods in two new locations that you have in the future. Absolutely. And then the third key area would be this area of investment. You'd be looking at trying to help rally the cry there for any investors who would be interested in a great project that's mixed use, that really is going to be a success as soon as it's built in a great market. And so you're looking also for investment. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, you know, the time may not be ripe for a firm to necessarily make a move and say we're going to redevelop the site, but if they're interested in the warehouse space we have, it's key. It's a key location. It's open warehouse space for storage, distribution, and fulfillment, mm -hmm. um, and it is a sec secured facility as right. well. Right. Uh, so, 
without going into too much detail, it does offer some convenience that it is a secured facility. Okay. Well, Abraham, how would they get in touch with you? If someone wanted to do a deal with you or to use your services even before you get on the plane with County Executive Baker, how do they get in touch with you and what are, what's your website? Okay, so my name is Abraham Hillel, and the first name is A-B-R-A-H-E-M, mm -hmm. and last name is H-E-L-A-L, and my company's name is Gray Graphics Corporation, that's G-R-A-Y, mm -hmm. and our website is www.graygraphics.net, and the best number to reach me on, because I always have it on me, is my cell phone, and that's 301 674 8550. Okay. Well, Abraham, we're going to do everything in our power. I know County Executive Baker is extremely excited about you and Rhonda joining us on this trade mission. We're going to do everything we can to help you to get exposure to audiences that are going to be interested in every segment of your business and to be able to help us to help you to create more jobs for our residents here in Prince George's County. So congratulations to you and your family on this wonderful company and thank you for joining us on this wonderful trade mission. Thank you so much, Jim. Okay. I look forward to the trip. Thanks a lot. Likewise.